Hello and welcome to the episode 9 recap of The Courtship. So there are six suitors left. Nicole and her entourage talk and as usual her family has some sense. Her brother says he wants to make sure that Lincoln isn't just in all of this for the thrill of the chase and her mother asks her whether his nomadic lifestyle is compatible with Nicole's. Nicole says that they are going to figure it out and have fun and that's how she knows that she's starting to fall in love with him. Nicole's dad is like, ah... I mean, if this were my best friend, I'd be staging a mini intervention at this point, but Nicole seems determined to keep Lincoln around. Lincoln reiterates that he's scared and not really ready. Miles tells us in his confessional that he wonders why Lincoln is even there at this point if he isn't ready and that he's not really being honest. So at this point, I hoped that Miles would exploit this and make his move just to edge Lincoln out. Still Team Hunter, but I think Miles would be able to edge Lincoln out because he is slightly more, not aggressive, but direct. Anyway, they get their daily tea and they're going to be doing a festival of strength this week. The winner, the strongest suitor, will spend alone time with Nicole. Okay, this starts out really funny because all the guys have to take their shirts off. And of course, Mr. Hunter and all the other men are perfectly sculpted. And Mr. Cones, well, actually, I think he has a nice body. I wouldn't penalize him based on his physical form. But he knows that he's up against these super sculpted guys and he's like, "Uh uh-oh. But in a good natured way, he has one of the best and most likable personalities of the bunch. Lincoln and Danny go first and Lincoln manages to get the boulder on the drum first so he wins that round. Then it's Mr. Judge and Miles. Mr. Judge, Jesse, is a wrestling coach and he picks up the boulder as though it's a toothpick. Very impressive. Then Jesse and Cones go against all odds. Mr. Cones wins. And he comments that it's a win for dad bods. At one point, Mr. Hunter and Danny compete. And when Mr. Hunter wins, you can kind of see that Nicole's parents are a little bit pleased about that. In the end, though, in the final against Miles and Hunter, Miles wins. And I don't hate this. He did well, we all had fun, and Miles is being very cute. Anyway, they hang out and whisper some sweet nothings to each other, and then they kiss. She asks how it's been with the other guys, and he says it's good, but then it happens. Miles mentions Lincoln being scared of commitment. It's not in a shady stab in the back kind of way, it's more in a just so you know before you throw in your lot with him, I think. I mean, he's pretty respectful about it, and it didn't look like he wanted to cause drama, even though he is competing against Lincoln. Nicole says, then that she'd like to talk to Lincoln about this because he's been telling her the opposite. But I mean, has he Nicole? And I'm falling for you is nice to hear and everything, but he didn't signal wanting to change his life for her. Still, he does have to have this conversation. Then Mr. Hunter goes to talk to Nicole alone and he asks in a very gentlemanly way why he was on the dance card last week. Nicole says that she asked him about his past relationships and about some of his weaknesses, but she senses that there's still a wall there between them. He acknowledges that he has a tough time being vulnerable, and when she asks why that is, he says that he's used to being the rock for other people in his life, so he kind of takes things on his own. She expresses some concern about old patterns that he's mentioned, like being with someone for longer than you should be. Nicole says that she knows that Mr. Hunter wants to be there, but she's just frustrated because he's had so many chances to open up this is not going well then nicole invites danny to a spa date together they start talking and he says that proposal at the end of this is kind of crazy right nicole's a bit taken aback by this and she says that he said that he would propose so he's kind of going back on his word now danny says that he just kind of wants to get to know her and spend more time together in nicole's defense if you're going to say that you have plans to propose and you've just now changed your mind then just say that danny he just said that to kind of score brownie points in the moment and now he won't own up to it or just say that he's changed his mind. He's now kind of trying to get Nicole to agree that it's kind of crazy to get engaged so that he gets out of doing it. On the other hand though, Danny should have been sent home a long time ago but I'm partly with him on this. Are they really supposed to get engaged without having dated or lived together in the real world? I mean, why would Nicole even want that when she hasn't met his friends, his family, she hasn't seen his home yet? She says she appreciates his honesty though and this looks like a dead end and it's awkward but you know Danny he's going to get in his awkward kisses and Nicole reciprocates but uh, 
It's weird. She tells him that she really likes him and he says that he likes her and he sees a life with her after this. Nicole then decides that she needs to have a talk with Lincoln and the look on Miles' face when Nicole asks to have this private talk is pretty great. She tells Lincoln that she's heard that he's not ready to give up van life. And I mean, I'm sorry, but I find this so absurd on Lincoln's part. If he really wanted to, couldn't he just put traveling on pause to be with Nicole, see if it works? He could enjoy that. And if it doesn't work, it's not like van life is going going anywhere. He could still go back to that. Anyway, she asks him if he even still wants to be there and there's an awkward silence and then he says that it's true that he's maybe starting to fall in love. He wants monogamy and love but he doesn't want to slow down. He says that he doesn't think that he can give her the life that she wants. She thinks that he's been cowardly and they're both emotional and crying. She says that her heart is really broken. She also says that she's confused by him and it's clear that emotions are getting in the way a bit because I'm just thinking it's really not that hard. He's made it pretty clear several times now, even Miles has told her, that he's not ready. Nicole used to be so good at sending guys home if she felt like they were wasting her time but I guess she's really found something with him and she's in. Anyway, she's really messed up about this and her sister and her best friend console her. See now at this point, if I were one of the other guys, I'd be kind of uh, about this because it's kind of like Lincoln is dumping her now and how do they know that he wasn't Nicole's first choice and now they're all just kind of runners up, if you know what I mean. I need to watch more shows like this because I'm kind of scandalized and fascinated about the group dating aspect of it. Anyway, finally it's time for the farewell dance. Lincoln is chosen first and then in his confessional, he comes with some kind of F-boy tactics. I'm not saying that he is one, but yeah, all of his words and actions, I don't know. He says that one of his biggest fears in life is regret and he feels that he has to try, otherwise he'll never know. As in, he now has decided that he's in again with Nicole. Nicole had better not be swayed by these words. Cones is next and he just says, well, he thinks he's going home, even though he's not sure what he did wrong. And then Mr. Hunter is the third guy on the dance card. Somehow Danny is safe this week, which I don't get. She knows at this point that he won't want to marry her at the end of this. And if that's what she really wants, then I don't get why she's still keeping him around. Anyway, Nicole says that she hasn't moved forward much with Cones. She wants to get to know him a bit more. They have such a great dance and he makes her laugh. He makes me laugh a lot too but it's more of a friend vibe between them I think. Someone actually mentioned this in the comments a while back and yeah I agree I definitely saw that on the dance floor this week. It's definitely friendship. Nicole and Dan Hunter dance and she wants him to open up but she ultimately says they won't be able to get there. The mom whispers to the dad that she knew that this was going to be the case. So I was surprisingly okay with Dan going home even though I was rooting for them and I was kind of wondering why but I think that since this is kind of starting to be the Lincoln and Nicole will they, won't they show, Mr. Hunter may as well avoid the drama of it. I just don't blame him for not opening up to her when her dealings with Lincoln are widely known, like he seems to be her choice. Oh no, now the big one, the dance with Lincoln. She tells him that he broke her heart that day and he apologizes. She says that she feels that what they have is real. This is already worrying me. Lincoln says that even though he fears this thing, he knows now that he can't be a kid anymore, he can't run away. He says he wants to fight for it and he says that he promises that he's all in. So he gets to say, Everyone is shocked. Oh God, Nicole is so happy. I think our girl has it bad. Anyway, I don't know who to root for now. Mr. Judge? He's been kind of low-key for a while now and I don't think he deserves that. But yeah, there's more of a possible romance in the old-fashioned sense of the word situation with them rather than a passionate thing. And I think it's clear at this point that Nicole goes for passion and a bit of drama and possibly some mess. The drama is the only way that I can explain her continued attraction to Danny. Anyway, you guys, I think this is it. Unless we have another big upset or unless he decides that he doesn't want to be anymore, I think Chapman might be the one I'm calling it. Well, anyway, as usual, I'll be looking forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching.